inside to help others and to enjoy Christian fellowship. Well, just who can be in women's ministries? If you're an adult woman sitting in a pew right now, you're part of us automatically. You, by being here, are part of the women of this church and part of the women's ministries. You don't have to be a member of the church. There's nothing saying that you have to be a member of the church to join us and help other people. Uh, you know, also, you may have a friend who is not a member of this church, doesn't even come to this church, but they're interested in doing some of the things that we do. They can come and be a part of our women's ministry also. Well, what do I do as a member? Well, you can do as little as you want or as much as you want. We're trying to develop something for everyone so that everyone can be involved. There are several groups at this time that you're welcome to join. But if you don't find something that fits you, you can let us know and we'll try to put something together that you will enjoy. Well, what are the current groups? Uh, in addition to the ones that are listed on the little insert that was in your bulletin this morning, there are several listed there. But in addition to that, we have several others. We have uh, an outreach blessings group who provides food for people who stay in our ministry centers uh, or in the um, McMullen building. We also provide food for those in need in our church. Now that sounds like a lot of food groups because you see that on the uh, on this sheet also, but we are United Methodist and we all like to eat <laughs> and share. Um, there are some annual events also that take place that just happened once. That's our tasting luncheon, and I think most of you have been to that and enjoyed that. The Dulac Project is a once-a-year program, and our Women of Faith is a once-a-year program. Well, what are the charities that you assist with? How do you help people? We have foreign missions where we provide things to uh, Mr. Bud Lee when he goes to Haiti to take to the people over there. We also um, assist Reverend Ennis, who you know was our bishop, and has gone back to Africa, so we are assisting him with projects over there. We have local groups, or rather we have church-related uh, groups, like the Wesley Foundation uh, of at UL that is trying to reach some of those students. We work, you heard Scott say that we're going to be down at uh, Encore at Sager Brown in, in Baldwin this week. We do that. Uh, we assist the Sulphur United Methodist Children's Home. We work with our own vacation Bible school here with our uh, Christmas blessings tree. We also help other local groups in town like the Iberia Pregnancy Center, the SNAP that was mentioned earlier, the SNAP Center, social services, blankets for infants, big brothers and sisters, the milk fund, and there are many others. But we're also assisting this year a brand new organization called uh, Biotech Dairy Care. The goal of this group is to provide uh, ton quantities of food to eight shelters here in town, not shelters, food pantries in our area. And this is to be given during the time when, you know, at Christmas and Thanksgiving, people pour the food into those pantries. But uh, there are other times in the year when that need is still going on and they run very, very low on uh, provisions. So this group is uh, trying to make up for those times. Uh, and you'll receive a little brochure like this in the near future. Scott's going to be talking to you about that. And you'll, you'll hear much more about this. But I just wanted to tell you that we feel like in our women's ministries that this is such an important project because of the economy and because things are really tough for some people now that we are donating a thousand dollars from our budget to purchase one ton of macaroni and cheese. So if this organization is trying to contact many groups in uh, our community to do that. But those are just a few of the things that we do. Well where does the funding come from for that? We have our one fundraiser each year, and that's our uh, women's tasting luncheon. And we do well on that. We do really well, thanks to you getting those tickets out for us and, and your um, loyalty to that. And we also encourage each woman in the church to make a one-time annual 
donation to our women's ministries. And it, no one tells you how much it is. It's not dues. You don't have to be pay dues to belong with us. But we would appreciate a one, one donation each year. It can be $10. It can be $500. It can be whatever you want to give. And if you'll see Winnie leave, she'll be happy to take your money. The other question that you might be interested in is, how can I get involved? Well, you just fill out that little uh, sheet that was put in your uh, bulletin. Fill that out, and we will get in touch with you and let you know what's available. If you didn't see something on there or you didn't hear me talk about something this morning that you're interested in, let us know. We'll start another group. We'll get something else going that you'll appreciate. If all your questions weren't answered, please speak to me or any of the ladies that you saw participating this morning, and we'll be more than happy to try to answer those questions. And Scott, I have one more thing I want to do. And this is such an important thing. Uh, it hasn't been done for several years, and uh, we felt like it was something that really was important. Uh, many of you um, have been involved with this in the past, and that is to honor someone in our congregation who has spent much time in working with this church. And I know many of you, even men, we've honored men, even, uh, even the men are involved in this. If, uh, if you have ever received a pen and been honored by our women's ministries, would you raise your hand? I'm sure there are, yes, there are quite a few in here that have done that. And we hope that uh, you feel that we still appreciate you, and we hope that you are still wearing your pen and uh, are feeling honored to have gotten that because it was an honor for us to see what you have done. So we do want to make a presentation this morning, and I'm going to ask Carrie Finlinger to come and help me make the presentation. Carrie, if you'll look at my purse right there, <laughs> the white envelopes sticking out, I'll take out one of those boxes, please. Carrie is our former uh, president of our women's group, and Carrie has been involved in so much in this church. So it's a pleasure for me to ask her to help me, but it's a little scary to uh, think that I'm having to follow her after all she's done with the women in this church. So Carrie, if you'll come forward. And when I call your name, would you please come to the front of the church, Helen Kilchrist? <laughs> Helen has spent untold numbers of hours working on very physical projects, not meeting uh, like I do, not uh, taking notes at meetings like I do, but doing physical work in this church. She has done so many things. Look at our gorgeous stained glass windows. Helen was involved with that along with some other people, but I can tell you she did her share. The men that she worked with were totally surprised that Helen could do as much as she did. And she helped take those windows out, rebuild the frames. You know the frames were sagging? Rebuild those frames. She has painted, scraped, varnished and cleaned more things in this church than anybody can name, I'm sure. Helen, we appreciate you so much, and we appreciate all the service that you have given to our church. So it's our proud honor to uh, give you this pen as an outstanding member of First United Methodist Church of New Iberia.
and think about what you can do in the church, what you can do to be uh, as a member of our women's ministries. Thank you all. <laughs> Corinthians chapter 7 verse 7 and I'm just going to read a part of it and I'm going to take a little poetic license and change the word man to woman. I don't think God would mind this morning. But each woman has her own gift from God. One has this gift, another has that. Charlotte Snyder has so many gifts and gives them to us so generously. Her gift of faith her gift of leadership, her gift of organization. And this little box didn't come from your purse. <laughs> <laughs> we would like to present you oh. one of our beautiful pins oh, signifying the love we have for you. 